For more than 20 years, Debbie Flesser has lived with myalgic encephalomyelitis, also known as chronic fatigue syndrome. She suffers crushing tiredness, memory issues, brain fog and trouble sleeping. The fatigue is all day, every day. The former psychologist can't work and there's no effective treatment. It's taken my hopes and dreams that I had um, and it leaves you when you live alone with a great deal of isolation and loneliness. Researchers at Griffith University are studying patients with MECFS and long COVID, illnesses with similar symptoms. They scanned the brains of 46 patients and compared them with 15 people who have neither condition. We found these regions were significantly larger. In the published research, they found the seahorse-shaped part of the brain, called the hippocampus, is enlarged in patients with both conditions. This allows us now to have that information to say, well, there is that commonality and perhaps we need to explore that even further in larger populations, not only here but in other research teams worldwide. The study also found the size of the hippocampus increased in line with the severity of patient symptoms. Professor Corey Smith wasn't involved in the study and says while small, it further validates the illnesses are physiological, not psychological. These symptoms are happening to people and I think this again provides supporting evidence for that and we need to continue investigating it. The ultimate goal is the development of diagnostic tests and treatments. It's giving all of us in the commun ME community uh, hope for something in the future. Emma Pollard, ABC News.